Today we've got a special occasion. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, uh, this should show up on the Whips in the Dungeon uh, YouTube channel. I have another channel on YouTube called um, BDSM Dungeon Play. It covers a wide variety of different topics, but I probably won't put this unboxing on there because it's specifically whip related and it's uh, uh, it's an unve unveiling of a new style of whip and uh, it's related to whips more than just general BDSM play. So we, we received a package from New Zealand, Peter Jack, today and I haven't opened it yet. There should be several things inside, but let's just get right to it and open it up and see what Peter has sent to us. Peter is a wonderful whip maker. This is his 44th year of plaiting. He began plaiting when he was 15 years old, and I consider him to be one of the best whip platters in the world. Uh, there are all, quite a few whip platters, and there are quite a few that are very good. Uh, I won't say one is the best because different people look for different things in whips. Uh, but Peter is certainly one of the best. He's made me 17 whips, and I think I've got another two in the box here, so maybe I'm up to 19 builds with Peter, and I always say Peter's never missed a build with me. So let's see what we have here. Uh, it's just bubble wrap pa packing. There's no real need to dig that out. Okay. Peter made me, well, he sent me some conditioner, and actually he sent me, I asked him to send me a couple of falls uh, for another project. I have uh, a three-foot snake by Victor Tella, and Victor put a 12-inch fall on this whip, and it, the fall is just a little bit short. I don't like the way it flows, and I was having... Peter Jack make me some whips anyway. So I asked Peter to cut me a couple of falls, or maybe it was just one fall. He cut me one fall and I think it's about 24 inches long. So this should be a much better application for this three foot snake. And we'll do another video on how to change a fall out. It will be a wonderful opportunity to do that video. And we'll put a new fall on that tello snake and we'll see how this tell snake works the other thing i did was i had had a whip a bull whip made by uh, a texas whip maker who goes by viper and um the pommel or the heel knot was too big around for my, for my hand my hand's kind of a medium-sized hand so i I sent this whip to Peter and asked Peter to modify the whip. The only thing he changed on this whip was to make the pommel, the heel knot, a little bit smaller where it will accommodate my hand for throwing. I'll do that review separately because that whip uh, was made by Viper and the only modification now is the, is the heel knot. But that's a very nice bull whip. All right, so now we get to uh, what Peter Jack actually created for us. I've uh, got, I have two, two ideas I tried on Peter and he was game to do it. So here we are. This is, uh, Peter makes a build called a Zenith Bullwhip. And the Zenith Bullwhip has this kind of truncated knot. I actually have to email him and ask him what he calls this knot. Because the normal parts of a bull whip are the heel knot or pommel, the handle, uh, the, the transition in or the pineapple knot into the thong. But he has, in his Zenith bull whip, added this kind of multi jointed knot in the middle. Well, the Zenith bull whips he makes are designed to be long whips. And um, I, in fact, I owned a Zenith bull whip that was 22 feet long. Most of his Zenith bull whips are in the, like the 17 to 24 foot length range. 
Uh, and I said, Peter, could you make a downsized or downscale mini Zenith bullwhip in the four to four and a half foot range, which makes it difficult because this truncated knot, which I'll, I'll find the real name out for that and I'll put it down in the remarks, but for right now, we're gonna call it a, a truncated uh, multi-dimensional, multi-directional knot. That adds about, well, in the, in the case of the mini, it's adding about six inches to the length of the whip. So then Peter has to actually make this thong and, and create his taper down to the keeper. And if I limit him to four feet, uh, we've got actually a fairly short whip. So, uh, uh, or a fairly short length to make that kind of taper. And then I also believe he does this in 24 plat. Uh, it's his 44th year of platting and he platted the number 44 into the handle for me. That's very nice. I didn't ask him to do that. I did on an earlier bullwhip he made me this year, but I didn't ask him on this one and he did it anyway. So that's a nice touch. So this is gonna be fun to throw. Uh, I'll do a separate video on throwing it and let you know how I like it. Uh, he finished it with a white hide fall and I'll probably change this cracker out because I, I like to use Lady Sally crackers in the dungeon. Um, I'm not in love with white hide, but we'll see how this white hide does. It's been a while since I had a white hide fall. If it, if it holds conditioner, then I don't care. But my past experience with white hide was it doesn't hold conditioner well. Then this other whip, this is a little three foot snake. And I asked Peter if he would, uh, he built, he has a bull whip build called Latigo Dog. Uh, Latigo Hidago, and it's a fighting whip build, and it has a little bit different shot load than his target bull whip has. And typically, his Latigo Hidago build will have shot down the length of the thong all the way to the keeper. And I said, Peter, would it be possible to make a Latigo Hidago style snake whip in a little pocket three, you know? mini three foot model that I could throw in the dungeon. And he said, well, I haven't done one of those, but he was game and he, he made me one. I love throwing a three foot snake. We're gonna see how, how well this one handles. The taper is beautiful, 16 plat. Taper is beautiful down to the keeper and the ball hitch is great. So that's that's the reveal. We have a Latigo Hidago snake whip, and I don't, I got the impression he had never made a mini quite this small, but we have a mini Zenith bull whip build or a scaled down version of a Zenith bull whip build. It, I'd have to measure this handle, but it looks like about a nine inch handle, which if it is, then Peter knows that's, the length of the handles that I normally like to throw on my bull whips. So I'm excited. Uh, it's only once, maybe twice a year, we get to open uh, and reveal new whips, but we have some new whips to break in. And as always, thank you for watching Whips in the Dungeon.